there are certain things that as born again Christians, you do not allow in your house. One of those things that you don't allow, you don't allow your children to play the Ouija board. When you allow the accursed thing to come into your house, you are opening up doors and windows for demonic activity. Another thing you are not to have, you are not to have witchcraft, uh, occultic type movies and games in your house. Why would you have an accursed thing in a house that's dedicated to the Lord? It's a total contradiction, you guys. You may think you're appeasing your kids because this movie, that game, or whatever happens to be the fad for the moment. But fads can kill. Sounds overdramatic, but it's true anyhow. Another thing you have to make sure of, watch what kind of jewelry you put on. and Certain types of, of emblems and signatures and, 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 uh, and decorations that are on belts and pocketbooks and um, labels and what do you call those things, uh, buckles. You watch what you bring in your house, you guys. What kind of artwork are you bringing in? Are you bringing in artifacts from other countries that was used to worship the dark side? What are you allowing in your house? Now, this is a warning. I'm serious. This is a warning because evil is on the rise. We're in the very, very last of days, and we cannot toy around with stuff now. We can't afford to, babe. Some people get sick. Some people get laid on their backs. Some people have accidents. And some people die. And it's because there's something accursed. Not all the time, but I'm saying when you open those doors, there's no way of you knowing what that what caused those things to happen. Okay? So listen to this. If your child has an invisible friend, I know I mentioned it before, but I wanted to deal with it in detail. If your child has an invisible friend, you go in that room, you kick that sucker out of that room, you rebuke it in the name of Jesus, you call on God's angels, you have your child pray, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You do everything, but you make sure your child is in Jesus first. And you make sure you clear out that room and clear out your house. Make sure it's driven out of your house, out of your property, never to return. Do you hear what I'm saying? You want to make sure, you want to make sure that you're not giving it inadvertent, inadvertently, you're not giving it permission to come on in and have a seat, stay for dinner, spend the night, set a spell, be part of the family. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. Trust me when I say little incantations and candles and spells and hexes and all that stuff. You don't mess with that. What are you doing with a God in heaven calling a, a psychic hotline? What is that? You're consulting with the dark side for your destiny? And God is the one that, that prepares the way ahead of you? Choose you this day, baby, whom you will serve. Because you cannot serve God and mammon. You hear me? Quit playing. It's time out for playing those games. You know how some of those songs say, I got another lover. Well, you can't have another lover with God. It's God's way or the highway, baby. And the highway is not taking you to higher places. Trust me when I say that one. Some of you have schizophrenia. Some of your kids have behavioral issues. Some of you have pets. 
that attack you? Had you ever thought that maybe it was a demon? I've been attacked by dogs. And listen to this. When I bound them in the name of Jesus and I wasn't dreaming. They were so confused they didn't know if they were going to pee or run. Where they were going to. Where they were coming from. And had no more awareness of my presence. Demons jump into little animals, you know. And if you don't take authority over those demons, and you're a born-again Christian, with the authority that goes with the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus, what is up with that? What Bible are you reading? Okay, I'm, not, I'm really, really trying not to fuss. But some of you guys are really putting yourselves and your children, even your fa your other family members, seniors, your pets, in harm's way. Because you're not discerning what is going on around you. God bless you guys. Get in the word. Pray. Ask God to bless you.